everybody it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I'm going to start a, another journal um, this one's gonna be rather than Christmas I mean I definitely think it could be used as a Christmas journal but it's gonna be more winter so it's gonna be my winter wonder kit my blue winter kit and my winter past kit which they're all in this same style sort of wintry blues and then the um, kind of old papers the vintage photo whatever you want to call that um this is from the winter wonder kit and these are winter wonder but then they have the old photos and that so i just did a few pages here because i'm just going to go over kind of how um we did that last journal just in case that was confusing because i know i was just starting that and so i'm sure i confused the heck out of some of you so um anyways i've kind of gotten my brain wrapped around it a little bit now so I think that I can do a better job and I've done some measuring this time rather than just folding it all willy-nilly however I wanted to I mean this is basically the same thing but um, I've checked measurements so that I can tell you <laughs> so anyway I have paper that is eight and a half by 11 inches that's standard in the United States I know papers are different in other places and you can still do this even if your paper um, is a, a different size you just have to kind of figure out how wide you want uh, the pages of the journal itself so for example this is four inches so once it's all folded up it's going to be four inches wide this part and then obviously your cover would be a little bit bigger but um, so you just have to play with it a little bit to figure out what size you know depending on what your paper size is um, but anyway I have scored at four inches and eight inches like that's how simple it is so then you fold that four that way and this smaller flap can either go on you know fold it in this way or it can go this way and um, as you saw in the last one, I made these littler uh, flap ones into pockets. This time I'm going to do the same type of thing, but I think I will do some of the pockets like on this one or this one. You know what I mean? I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Like I said, that last one was me just trying to figure everything out. So anyway. So if I didn't say hi or hello and um, how are you guys? How are you guys? I know I just get <laughs> but anyways I just wanted to get that out there so you kind of know what we are doing here. So that is what it is. So I have taken two pieces of paper first and put them um, you know basically wrong sides or unprinted sides how's that together so you could do this with some scrapbook paper if you um, can't do digital downloads you know the thinner um, stacks of paper that you can get that feel more like um, oh my gosh copy paper um, more that weight is what you want like copy paper and so I just put two back to back and then I scored at four and I scored at eight, which you can see here. So now I have basically what that fold is. And then um, what would happen is I could stack a few of these kind of together and sew through the middle, or I can hinge them, which is what I did on the last one. I think I actually hinged at this backside. Put a hinge here and hinge another one just like this to it. And that's what I did on the last journal, which I'll probably do this one the same. I liked the way that one came out. So um, I would hinge at the back. And then you can also do things like add a page into the center. So for example, I could take one of these that I have printed on both sides. This, this is from my Woodland Santa. So this isn't in one of the winter kits. Um, just so you know where that comes from anyway um, and I took some washi tape and I folded this you know kind of into thirds again just like these ones and um, put washi tape on this side and then flipped it over and put washi tape on this side to attach it you could also use just strips of paper and hinge it in just like you're hinging them together so um, yeah, there's a, a myriad of ways that you could do this. I mean, you could do just all kinds of different things with it. And then I was gonna show you, I did an envelope uh, to put in, because remember how I told you 
the envelopes were in between the pages, well, that's how the envelopes go between the pages because you've got uh, two pages together. So, all that said, um, I'm going to put this envelope in here. And what I've done, because I noticed the last one that I did, I tried um, putting a hinge in, essentially. So this is a hinge. It's just like a one inch piece of paper folded in half, so at a half an inch. And you put it into, you know, you have to cut your envelope open. Put one half in there, leave the other half hanging out, which is what this is. And then that goes in between the two pieces of paper and that's how it's hinged on. The reason I did it that way is this um, envelope already has the flap stuck down. So if you don't have the flap stuck down, you could use the, the envelope flap, but either way it works fine. I did take a hinge and put it in here first, in here, and then added another hinge. Actually, I put on this hinge first, added another hinge on top of that, put a hinge over here, put a hinge in the bottom. That way when uh, whatever my tag is sliding in and out, it just makes it a lot easier. I noticed on the last one I had to uh, fix it a couple times just because, you know, when you put the glue in and then you're sliding the tag in and out, sometimes it'll open up the side. So this is just kind of a better way to do it. You're just putting hinges, gussets in so that um, you've got lots of room for whatever to fit in there and you can see there's a hinge there, or, you know, gusset, however you want to say that. And then over on this side, there's another gusset, and down in the bottom. You guys probably can't see down there, but anyway, there's another gusset down there. Okay, so I thought we'd go ahead and put this page together so that we can get an idea of, you know, how to do that. So I hope you're all doing good. We're just, as you can... Um, well, you'll notice in tomorrow's video I'm wearing the same shirt because <laughs> it's Monday and I'm doing my videos. So, uh, yeah, I do two on Monday and um, work on stuff for my store. I've said it before, blah, blah. Anyways, um, so it's cold and foggy and just kind of miserable here. So I hope you all are having better weather. I think we're just going to have snow and misery until probably February or March or something. And then we might see better days here and there for a bit, hopefully. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just kind of center it because this envelope is a little bit smaller than uh, the page itself. And you don't really need to worry about like necessarily leaving a space like, you know, uh, if you're making a journal um, and you're doing the spine you leave like a space I mean you can obviously leave a little bit of space but it, it all kind of works fine as long as you're not putting the envelope onto this paper it, it should work just fine okay so then this will flip open and closed <coughs> Got my heater going in here because it was for a reason before. It's warmed up a bit now, but I've had the heater going for a while. But I like to just make sure those are really uh, down good, especially if you do decide that you want like this to be another pocket. You would want that to be, you know, not going to catch on a tag. But I'm going to make it this middle one right here instead. So I'm just going to do kind of one section at a time just because it makes it easier on me than covering the whole page in glue. So I'm just going to do this section over here. Like I said, I'm not going to make this one into a pocket, so I'm going to go ahead and close it off. And really try to get around the edges if you can um, so that you don't get any, you know, gaps on your pages down there. And then I'm going to come right down the spine area here, or the fold, because that's where um, there'll be a pocket here. So this is just another way to put together a journal. It's you can you don't have to do this or anything. I'm just doing this to show you kind of 
I'm doing that flippy flappy sort of journal and I like I said I had trouble totally understanding how those other ones were done not to anybody's fault it's just me sometimes I struggle with getting that um so I just kind of came up with my own it may be very similar a lot of it might be the same I don't know because I uh, sort of didn't totally get how that those ones worked so I just kind of made one up <laughs> but I did watch Carol Laws so that's where I got the you know idea to do something like this so this was not like my idea thank you Carol definitely so this is just gonna go like this this is gonna be our pocket so then I'll come over here and glue this piece not this piece okay we will need to glue across the bottom yes very 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 true because this will need to be closed off and then probably the best thing to do is sort of just leave these flat for a bit until they dry and then you could um, come in and you know fold them up again it's just you're gonna have uh, better luck with not having gaps and bumps and bubbles and stuff if you let it dry all the way and yeah you could do these lo loads of different ways put in pockets here and there and all different you know however so and I do give it a little bit of a a pull to try to make sure that it's hopefully gonna lay flat for me <laughs> that's always questionable right because you think you got it all flat and then I don't know what happens but that glue hanging around too much. Okay, I am going to use this just to try to make sure I get it flat. It just keeps wanting to come out of there. And they do look a little bumpy lumpy at first. But hopefully if you, you know, do kind of what I'm doing and get it nice and flat, you know, it's going to, it's going to lay flat. And then you'll just need to decide where you want your thumb notch. Do you want it on that side or the other side? And I'll figure that out, but I want to let it dry first. So I'm going to set this one aside. And then of course we would decorate the envelope and do all that kind of stuff. I'm going to pull my sleeves up here. It's finally starting to warm up in here. Okay, so then I'll kind of show you another one just to make sure that, you know, we got it. And then I'll hinge the two together so you can get an idea on that. And then I think I want to use this one and this one. Okay, so I'm going to put them back to back again, the plain sides together. And then we're going to take our scoreboard and we're going to score at four and eight. So that's super simple to remember. Just got to make sure you get them held together well. Okay, so score at four. And then I'm going to score again at 8. There's paint spatters and everything all over this. <laughs> and I am scoring a lot because there is a whole nother piece of paper underneath. So I want to make sure that I get both of them folding. You know what I'm saying? Okay. going to go back this way to fold that. And it is obviously a little bit different with um, more than one sheet of paper because it, it does want to play tricks on you, so to speak. 
Where's the one? Oh, there it is. And I'm going to come in this way because that's the hill and valley of the fold. So if you put a valley in, you want to fold against that valley to make a hill. I mean, you don't have to. It's just supposedly it's better for the folding of the paper. Like, it works better. I don't know. Okay. So now I have that. So I can go either direction once I get it folded. Doesn't matter. And if you want to do it the other way, you would come in, um, what is it, three, I think. So, for example, let me just get this. So if you want to have uh, flip sides, like if I wanted my little flap over on this side, I would um, do three first instead of four. So I would score it three, and then it, it's of course got to be something not. It's like between seven and seven and an eighth is where it hits, but this side is four. So if you score it three, flip it over and do four, that's how that'll work better. But um, yeah, that's how you could switch which side you want your gusset on or your um, smaller piece on. <coughs> okay, so this one I think we're just going to glue together. I think I will make this one the pocket this time. So we're just going to glue her. So I'm not adding any envelopes to this one. I'm just making it the page itself. But yeah, you could add all kinds of things. Coin envelopes. You could do like a, a flip out thing with a guest check. Um, I mean, really, the possibilities are endless with making these kind of things. You could hinge anything on, really, is what I'm saying. That's flat. And then I'm going to grab this and do it this way. I just like to get the points together first, if possible, which can be tricky. Husband and I are watching Longmire now. We've been watching that for a while, but we're getting near the end of it. Ah! But we really like that show. It's a good one. So if you haven't watched it, I know it's been out for a long time. We always, <laughs> we're way behind the curve on the whole television thing. But anyway, um, check it out if you haven't seen it because it's pretty good. If you like sort of that uh, mystery, like murder mystery kind of thing, western-y type thing, because <laughs> that's kind of the flavor that it has. I mean, we live in Idaho, and I grew up in a small town in Nevada, so definitely I like the uh, western-y type shows. last one. I don't know yet which side I want my little thumb notch, but those are minor details to figure out at some point, right? Eh. I'm telling you, I struggle with this, uh, trying to get a straight fine line of that. And it's just me, it's my hands. <laughs> Doesn't have anything to do with the glue. It was great. Grabbed a hinge. Okay. And again. 
again, I am going to let that dry for a sec because I just know that I'll mess it up. So let's check on this one and see how it is feeling. You can kind of tell it's still a little cold. Okay, so maybe I'm going to wait a second on that. I'm going to put you on hold for just a minute because I want to see if there's something else I want to add to something. So I'll be right okay, back. for example, so um, I just have this little cut down, which is a piece of uh, window envelope. I'm going to check the window. Okay. Um, if the windows are loose, you can put a piece of just tape over them and that helps hold them down. I mean, obviously, Captain Obvious, but you know, sometimes you don't think of those things. And I'm just going to put a little hinge on here too, just like we've hinged everything else. And I'm going to hinge it to the top so it'll flip up on that one. And I might go ahead and do the hinge down the side thing and all that because I just feel like that holds these envelopes together better. They they need a little a little room or um, whatever you're trying to put in and out just it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna cut it at an angle. Cut this one at an angle. Oh, did you guys even see that? I cut those both at an angle. <laughs> Probably like yeah, it'd be really great if we could see what you're doing. Uh, yeah. Sorry, this glass mat. That's why I quit using it before because I do tend to be heavy handed when I'm putting stuff down and picking stuff up and all that. Um, so I apologize for the clacking, clack, clack, clacking sound all the time. I did that backwards, didn't I? Yeah. Brilliant. Or is it this one? It's this one. That's why it was backwards. <laughs> oh, you guys. Yeah, some days. I'm going to move this out of the way before I get glue all over it, and we'll put the little hinges on. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me while I do this, because I know it might be like super boring, and of course you can fast forward to parts that you want to see or whatever. Um, but I just wanted to show this because I know I wasn't super clear on the last one I did, and like I said, part of that was because I was trying to figure it out too. And I didn't show a lot of it either because it was just a matter of had to wrap my head around it first before I could show anybody else. <laughs> and sometimes me wrapping my head around things is a lot of work, so just because I tend to overthink, 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 overthink all the time. So. Can be a stumbling block. Oh my goodness, I filled this up again, cleaned the nozzle, uh, added just a little bit of water because some of the um, glue that I put in was getting pretty thick. I think it's just a matter of my glue is kind of old. It took me a long time to go through a whole, because you get that size, and then like I had the bigger refill bottle, and to go through all of that, I was amazed because I used to not buy it. I thought it was too expensive, and then somebody sent it to me as a gift. Thank you, Nan. <laughs> and um, and then I realized you just really don't use a ton of it, so it it works pretty well to by. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to put the glue on the inside because the flap is going to go inside of that other pocket, if you see what I'm saying. So I'm going to put glue on this side and then it will hopefully be able to flap over the uh, that pocket. Yeah, I didn't used to buy it because I just thought, oh, it's kind of expensive, you know, for glue. And then I realized how long it takes to go through a whole bottle of it. And it's like, it gets really not that expensive. And I mean, I literally use it every day, so. <laughs> Pretty much, maybe not every single day, but. Okay, so maybe I'll glue this closed first. Except do I wanna put something in there? 
I'll just leave it as a pocket. There's no, uh, you know, and there's the security background and all that. I don't love all that, but that's not there. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. And I just realized this little flappy do is coming up from the envelope itself. Man, I'll tell you, between painting this weekend and decorating the Christmas tree and just trying to do some stuff for Christmas, I have had no time to watch anybody's videos. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm MIA or something. I don't know what is going on with anybody right now. Yes, that time of the year, I noticed my... Uh, you know, just like uh, viewer numbers are kind of falling off. And that happens a lot this time of the year. I have found that before. And summer. Those are the two times when I really kind of bite the dust on the numbers. Okay. So then we're going to just put some glue on here. I want to make sure I get along that lip good. Don't really want it on the envelope, Amy. And then we're going to put this inside of this pocket that we left you know, when we made this this page. That's maybe if I can do it without messing it up. Okay. So then what we have, hopefully, is pocket there. Get this good and glued down. And that may rise above your journal a tiny, tiny bit just because it's added paper, right? But um, it should be fine. And then I think I should be able to fold this now. What I do sometimes if I worry about that buckling thing is I'll kind of take a bone folder and just gently, you know, kind of help it, <laughs> help it to fold. And then you will notice like in certain spots it might hang over just a itty bitty bit, but if you, ink it, you, it's fine. Um, it's just because it, uh, with the folding of the paper, they're both exactly the same size, right? So then when you fold it, put them together and fold it, one of them is going to be, have less distance to go than the other one. Because one's wrapping all the way around the fold, the other one's like right at the fold. So it just kind of turns out that way. But um, I, I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I guess you could try to trim them all off, but that would kind of be a nightmare, so I actually think I want that one to go this way. That to go down, that to go that way. This one will go around the back. Okay, let's get this. So right there you have one page that I think is pretty darn interesting. That was just one um, sheet of paper, or well two, but you see what I'm saying, like one, um, it's not longer than one sheet of paper. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's see if we what we got going with the other one. That thing just keeps spurting glue out the top. So this one's kind of boring in comparison, but that's okay. So this one is where the opening is. So because I put that envelope over there, I'm going to put my thumb notch on this side. And where do I want it? That looks about to be middle, I think. There's my thumb notch. <clears throat> it's backed with coffee dyed paper, but of course you could, you know, slide another little piece of paper in there if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and ink that just a bit. And if you don't want to ink, don't ink. I, that's totally fine. Like, nobody says you have to. It's just the way I do it. Okay. Just trying to see where my folds are. <clears throat> Do 
Do I want to fold that one the other way? Maybe I do. And this is the other thing. Obviously, if you just fold it the other direction, you're going to get stuff on different sides than what you may have originally had. him though, but I guess I'm going to go this way. Okay. And then what we do is, so this is the envelope that's just attached to the end of the page, but this kind of would be the central fold of the page. And then you take the central fold of the other page and you're going to bring these two together. And you can use washi I would add glue, or you can use um, paper hinges, fabric hinges, whatever you like to attach them together. But I think it it's pretty going to stay pretty darn well. I wouldn't use really old paper like this is just coffee dyed. Um, what do you call it? Copy paper. <laughs> like I, this would be beautiful because the color of it but this is really old paper. So when you fold it, a lot of times these hinges crack and break and obviously that's not going to help you because then your pages will come apart. So you want to use newer paper, I would say, or like washi with glue on it or something like that because otherwise you're gonna have um, that, that breaking problem. I think I wanna use on this part, I don't mind where you don't really see them, but I think on these parts where you see it, I'd like to use um, like a scrap of the digital, one of the digitals. These are mostly Winter Wonder, the first one I did, and for some reason I printed them with borders. And I can't use those for hinges because I think there was one in here. These are the originals. Because originally I did collage pages. so. I scanned them. I think I can use that piece. Um, yeah, they were collage pages that I scanned on the originals on that one. That was before I started doing more on the computer myself. Okay, so I'm just going to make a, another hinge like the ones that I've already been using. So. I don't want it very big because, see, I don't want to go over her and end up covering that. So I think I'll go with, like, hmm, I need to be able to fold it in half is the thing. Try this. And then you're just going to fold that in half, which is tricky when it's skinny and long like this. You can score it, which is probably what I'm going to have to do. So I have this, these lines that I've marked with a Sharpie, they're very handy <laughs> because uh, then you can see on a piece like this where to, oh, that is not straight at all, one, two, so I'm sort of trying to find the middle as best I can, which is kind of tricky when you're just doing a piece of paper like this. I'm sure there's some trick that I don't know, but anyway, sorry, I slammed down that again. And I stink at this, as you can see. I don't know how Carol does it. She just folds them, zip, and there they are. They're just perfectly little hinges. <laughs> I always make mine like, one in's fat, one in skinny. But however you make your hinges, just make some hinges. How's that? Okay, so this should be close. Uh, yeah, same size. All right, so we'll just glue that on there. I am gonna ink the edges a little bit. I just thought maybe my Winter Wonder kits would be sort of make you still feel in that Christmassy mood, but also, I think probably some people are getting tired of the Christmassy thing 
I don't know, it's just everybody's doing Christmas journals right now, which I understand, but I know that uh, sometimes it can get like, can we do something besides Christmas? <laughs> so, I am. I'm just doing a wintry. But of course, when you're doing a journal like this, you don't have to use the papers I'm using. You can use anything. You could use spring flowers if that's what you want, and believe me, I get it. Um, I'm already ready for that, and I feel like winter just started, but I'm always ready for spring. But yeah, use, you know, mushrooms, flowers, forest, uh, Christmas, Christmassy Christmas, you could, I mean, you know, whatever it is you feel like using. And then obviously you're just putting the middle line on the folded edge. I got her skirt covered a little, but not too bad, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, you could make these hinges out of completely different paper. Like if you had something that you uh, liked a lot, like it was um, like one of these blue uh, design papers or something like that, you know what I mean? Something like that that you wanted to use to really set off the hinges, you can do that too if you don't want them to be sort of the same as the paper. So yeah, if you're still doing in the total Christmassy mood, then Christmas it up, man. Ah. Okay, so probably be a better idea to fold it the first place. Trying to, trying to get it straight, and I did leave like a itty bitty gap. I mean, it's, I can't even tell you what that measurement would be. It's very small. And then you can also put a hinge on the other side, which I probably will. I think that's what I did with the last one, I think. Or you could use washi tape or whatever on the other side if that's what you wanted to do. I think I'm gonna use another piece of this and struggle with folding it in half again because I'm good like that. I probably don't rip them totally straight either and that doesn't help when I try to see like this is I can already tell skinnier at the top than it is at the bottom. But we're gonna go with it and see what we got here. And just sort of get it in the middle. And you probably could get away with just putting a hinge on one side. I may have done that on the last one. I can't really remember, honestly. But on this one, I'm just I'm putting two because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> As you can see, I feel bad I'm covering up that blue. I like that blue. I don't know if I have any blue washi. Let me see. I might have. As I've said, I, I have a little washi. I still have a lot, and I don't use it a lot. So it's sort of pointless for me to have. Because I forget about it all the time. Oh, this one would work. Yeah, let's do that. I'll put some glue on it instead. After all that, I've, <laughs> I've tortured you with watching me <laughs> do that. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Uh, that's how I am. This is just, this is how I roll, man. This tape stuck together is like exactly my life. <laughs> I feel like that's the way everything is that I do. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. 
I think somebody needs to come out with ultra strong sticky washi tape <laughs> because I love the look of it but in my experience anyway it doesn't I mean sometimes it sticks okay but a lot of it doesn't really stick at all and it's sort of like what is the point of this stuff if you stick it on something don't you want it to stick isn't that the isn't that the thing that you're trying to accomplish So see, and you just keep trucking along like that and pretty soon you'll have a whole book of, just got to get this going the right way, um, you know, pages. It's stiff right now because I just did this and it's seriously glued together so it's not going anywhere. And then this needs to fold this way, this one goes this way. And then a touch die, you have the beginnings of one of these flippy, hingy <laughs> sort of things. You see? And that is it. Just make sure this is good and folded. And you do, you need to go in and, and use your bone folder and really press on those creases because it does want to get a little kooky when it's. Um, fresh, you know what I mean? Oh, I got a little weird thing happening here. I think that's from the, the hinging part. But see, then we'll decorate that. Yeah, so that's where we're at for today. So I hope that this gives you a better idea of, you know, kind of how I'm putting this together or, you know, how I did that uh, mushroom and gnome journal so yeah anyhow that's where we're at and i will see you guys again tomorrow love you guys bye